leaving, Willow. Like I said, totally under control. Though I think all that bumping did some damage. Audrey, what's her status? Hopscotch, mountain top, shindig valley. Yep, definitely some damage. But it's nothing I can't fix. Okay, which tools am I gonna need? A screwdriver? A wrench? Or whatever this thing is. Thanks, guys, but I got this. Beach time polos, you play? I'll stay. Yay! <laughs> you say so. Uh, okay. That was there. Willow's a great engineer. But what if she can't fix the polo boat? <gasps> we'll all be stuck here forever! Forever! Stay calm, Chester. Get your mind on something else. <laughs> I got it! Oh, a beach ball! I love beach balls! <laughs> this engine is totally seized. It needs a top-to-bottom rebuild. I found some spare parts below deck. I was saving these to build a dancing robot, but I can do that next week. Ready, Gorby? I got it! I got it! I, I don't got it. Oh! <laughs> Yay! Ball! Ah! Ah, the wind's really starting to blow. Ah, the ball! Ah. All that clanking tells me you don't think any of these will make the engine work again. <sighs> nope, we need something else to get the polo boat moving. the wind would stop. I don't. I'm having an engineering moment. Wow, a sail made out of palm leaves. That's brilliant, Willow. Thanks. Seeing the wind push those leaves around gave me the idea that a whole bunch of leaves could catch a whole bunch of wind to push our boat. The wind will press on the sail and make it puff out. This force will push the puller boat forward and I'll use these levers to steer. Then it's Bye Bye Island. Man, there's only one thing to do. I'm gonna get my toolbox and take the whole seat apart. Willow, that sounds serious. Too serious. I think we all need a break. Let's go outside. Good idea, Marco. Come on, everybody. Ah, it's so beautiful here. And so calm. And so peaceful. Waddle, waddle. Ah! It's just like the rattle in the polo mobile. Only worse. What's making that noise? Hey, you guys, look up. It's a woodpecker. Oh. Wow. It's beautiful. Hmm. I think its feet really help it hang onto the tree. Yeah. Two of its toes face forward and two face back. So it can stay balanced while it pecks and climb the tree. I wonder how many times a woodpecker pecks wood. We could count. Okay. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It says here that a woodpecker pecks 20 times in a second. I'll time us. Okay? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stop. Time's up. Wow. We can't count nearly as fast as a woodpecker pecks. So why is it pecking? Is it eating the bark on the tree? Or is it digging for something in the tree? Hey, look! Whoa! It's got a beak full of bugs. That must be what it eats. Insects that live under the bark in trees. Yeah, but how do they get them out? Let's see. Well, what do you know? A woodpecker's tongue is long and sticky, so it can reach deep into trees 
and pull out insects. I'm having an engineering moment. Polos, back to the polo mobile. <laughs> Dickie! So you've made a woodpecker tongue? Right. I'm gonna fish out whatever's making the rattle the same way woodpeckers get bugs out of trees. With something long and sticky. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, I think I got it! My maraca! I was looking for that! Thanks, Willow. Is that it? No more rattle? Only one way to find out. Yeah! Yeah! Let's see what these things can do. Hold on, guys. I can fix this. Oh. Uh. Whoa. Huh? Ah! Uh, 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 whoa! I think these chairs need a huh, giant snowball. A giant snowball? Giant snowball headed straight for us. Uh, hang on, Polos. Whoa! What was that? It was huge. Let's find out. Whoa! Uh, You know, I think that giant snowball is a comet. Comets are just big balls of ice and dust and rock until they get near the sun. Look, it's changing. Is it melting? It looks like the heat of the sun is setting it on fire. Because the sun's energy heats the comet's ice and gases, it's growing a long tail. Whoa! Whoa! It's the rocks and ice from the comet's den! Willow, what do I do? Ah! You got this, Lily. Remember the button I told you not to touch? Well, punch it! Punching it! for fun. They run to hunt animals for food. So, if we want to see it run, guess we should find something cheetahs run after. Like gazelles. There's one. I think it's creeping up on its prey. But wait, I don't see any prey. It's watching and waiting for the right time to pounce. Oh, look over there. Whoa. A gazelle! Wow! Look at it go! The cheetah is fast! But so are the gazelles! I think I got the cheetah's whole run! Let's check out the footage in slow motion! The cheetah picks up speed so quickly! And it accelerates just like I did! 
Look at its leaping strides. Its claws help it grip the ground so that its feet don't slip around when it runs. It says here that the cheetah's claws stay out all the time. They never fully retract. It's the only cat that does that. Let's see what the speed tracker says about how fast it's going. It was running as fast as a car driving on a highway. Zoom! Now that is fast. Cheetahs are amazing runners. Plus, I like their faces. Those black marks under their eyes are cool. Those markings are called teardrops. They help keep the sun from glaring in their eyes so they can see where they're going. You know, I think I'm ready to try another run. I put black under my eyes to block out the sun's glare. I'm stretching so that I can take long strides. And my shoes have spikes like claws so that it won't slip. Ready? Time to run like a cheetah. Go! Cheetah Lily! your fastest time ever! Way to go, Lily! Thanks, Willow. Thanks a lot for helping me learn to run faster, Cheetah, old buddy. And now I'm gonna do something else that cheetahs do. What's that? Lay down. <sighs> I wonder what the insects want and whether they are what's making the noise. Hey, over there! Whoa! The buzzing is out here. Whatever is making that noise must be here somewhere. Hey, Paul, check it out. There's a huge insect on this tree. Cool. Do you think it's the insect that left those dried out shells on the tree? Maybe. It looks kind of the same. And it's not the only one. There are so many of them. What is it? Lucky! It's shaking its abdomen. That's what's making the noise. Along with all of the other ones. Who oh, wandered so loud? What kind of insect is this? I'm looking up insects that make buzzing noises. Look! Grasshoppers. Mm, not even close. How about this one? Cricket. Kind of the same, but not quite. And it's not shaking its abdomen to make noise. Well, there's this one. That's it. It's a cicada. It says here that cicadas are the loudest of all insects. Ooh, I'll say. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> but why are there so many of them everywhere? And why do they make so much noise? And why did it just suddenly start all at once? It's like they all just showed up at the same time. It says here that cicadas lay their eggs in the branches of trees. When the eggs hatch, they're called nymphs, and they burrow into the ground. Cicada nymphs can live underground for as long as 17 years. That's incredible. Look at this. When the ground gets to the right temperature, it's crawling out. All of the nymphs come out around the same time. So that's why there are so many of them. The nymphs crawl into the trees, and then... Wow! Wow, it's, it's changing. changing! And it's leaving behind an empty shell. Just like the ones we found. But why are they so noisy? I bet they're calling to each other. Right! Trying to find other cicadas. Male cicadas make that noise. It attracts other males and females to the area. All of the males sing together. It says that's called a chorus of cicadas. Lots of cicadas, lots of noise. Good luck, cicada. Make as much noise as you need. So I wonder what those pointy teeth are for. Uh-oh. Hippo bite! That must be why they have those teeth. To protect themselves and their territory. Tango dientes, agudos. Lily, you speak another language? What a surprise! Yep, 
That was Spanish. What did you say? I said, I have pointy teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I could say that in loud, too. Que yo coi Liam. Wow, wow. that's great. <gasps> Hippos really move fast. Hippos can actually run faster than people. That's surprising. They're so big. Prize! Prize! Knock our socks off, buddy. Whoa! Nash is an acrobat. I didn't know he could do that. Surprising. Oh, yeah? Well, how about this? Nice bum skating, Marco. Another surprising thing that one of us can do. <laughs> Thanks. <gasps> oh. Surprise! <laughs> I like how they can keep their whole body underwater, with just their nose and eyes sticking out so that they can breathe and see. That one was totally underwater. They must be able to hold their breath for a while. Hippos can stay underwater for up to five minutes at a time. And they can even sleep underwater and automatically come up to breathe without waking up. Wow! Ooh, amazing! Hey, look! Oh. Whoa! That hippo was really swimming fast! Wait a minute. Is it really swimming? Whoa! Wait till you see this. <gasps> it's running! Underwater! It's called an underwater gallop. Like a horse's gallop? Exactly. Now that's a surprise. Surprise! Yes. In fact, the word hippopotamus means river horse. That oh, is cool. I love that. Hippos are really surprising animals, aren't they? Well, what about you, Chester? What's the most surprising thing that you can do? Well, 